All right, y'all, in today's video, we're gonna go over Meta's new release, Llama 3.2. They came out with four versions. They came out with a 1 billion parameter model, a 3 billion parameter model, an 11 billion parameter multi-model, and a 90 billion parameter multi-model. So we're gonna go over how to run them today and how to fine tune them as well. Okay, I just wanna quickly go through the benchmarks with you guys. So what we see here is the 90 billion parameter is doing better than GPT-40 on the MMMU. Um, on the Pro Standard, it does better as well. And you can see 11B is doing better than Claude 3 High Q. And then down here on Math Vista, it does better, but you see GPT 4.0 does better on the Pro Vision. If we scroll down, we can see the chart QA, A2 diagram, not much of a difference there. On the Doc V QA, it does well. The MMLU does good as well. And it looks like GPT 4.0 is beating it at Math and the MGSM. But like I said before, benchmarks are great for knowing if the model's improving, but it does not always translate over to the real world. Now let's look at the lightweight models. We see the 1 billion parameter model over here. Seems to do better at the open rewrite eval, better than the rest. We're comparing it against Pi 3.5 mini and Gemma 2B. We can see Llama 3B. We can see Llama 3.2, 3B does well over here in the TLDR 9 plus um, and then the IF eval as well and here's the tool use one 67 that's good compared to Gemma and Pi the GSM AK it's at 77 not as good as Pi though and the arc challenge it gets a 78 but still not as good as Pi over here GPQA 32 does better than those ones Hello Swag, um, it does all right, but it's still not higher than Pi. And the Multi Needle, it does very well on that with 84. And MGSM, it does 58, so beating them. All right, so we're gonna use Olama to install this. So if you don't have Olama, so if you don't have Olama installed, just install Olama on your computer. And we're gonna go into the terminal and we're gonna run this command. So we're just gonna run this command, and it'll start downloading the model. It's only like a gigabyte, so it shouldn't be too long to download. The nice thing about these models is they can run on device, so you can even run these on your iPhone. Looks like it's successfully installed. Now we can start chatting with the model. All right, so we're going to see if it can write some code. So as you can see, it is pretty fast to write out. We'll run this code and we'll see if it works. So if we scroll through the code, you can see everything it wrote. Define the constants, create the class, wrote the function inside, use Pygame like we said. So these models are distilled from the 405 billion parameter model. So it should have some pretty good training data inside of it. Oh, okay. So it looks like it started the game up and it crashed instantly. But it did use Pi Game to start it up. Let's see if it can correct itself. Nope, still crashes. Well, it's kind of expected. I mean, it is only a 1 billion parameter model, so I'm not gonna expect it to have some crazy performance writing code. All right, so we're gonna do a needle in the haystack test. So we're gonna give it about 1400 tokens, which is about 6,800 characters. And the goal is for it to find the rare flower, which is the bluebells. Okay, it didn't give us the answer yet. Let's just ask it. Oh, 
Okay, so it gets it wrong. It says the ghost orchid when it's actually the bluebell. Okay. So it did fail at that needle in the haystack test. So let's give the 3 billion parameter model a try now. All right, so all we have to do is just run this command and it will install just like the previous one. All right, let's run that same needle in the haystack test in here. So it's thinking a little bit longer and it outputs it right away and it still gets it wrong. Let's ask why. Okay, so it still gets it wrong. Um, the bluebells is the actual correct answer for this. All right, and then we're gonna go back and try to see if we can create the snake game that works out the box for us. So already it's a little bit different. All right, let's test this out. All right, so here's the code. It does look a little bit different than the previous code. That's not defined, so we'll see if it still runs. Okay. Yeah, white's not defined. We'll see if it can fix the error. So the game loads up. Oh, I can play, but it keeps saying game over. So it does write a working game. It's just there's some bugs to it. Oh, and it doesn't eat it either. But at least we got some code that at least runs. All right, so you can also run this in the browser using WebGPU, and that's what we're gonna do right now. So we'll just use this Q4 F16. All right, looks like we're in. Wow, okay. Now this is running completely in the browser. It's using web GPU to utilize your GPU on your device. And I'll have the link for this in the Patreon as well. All right, y'all, so we're gonna fine tune using Unsloth. In my opinion, Unsloth is the easiest way to fine tune. All you gotta do is just start a collab notebook and you can start fine tuning. Um, with the T4, you can uh, fine tune the 8 billion parameter models just fine. So what we're going to do today is fine tune the 3 billion parameter instruct model. So this is the data set that we're going to be using. It's called Reflection 40K Shared GPT. Um, if you know about the Reflection model, it came out a couple of weeks ago. It wasn't, it supposedly was supposed to be the best open source model out there. Um, had a lot of claims that didn't live up to the hype, but it made me think about just creating a data set that kind of did the same thing. So this is um, an example of what you can use. It is all synthetic data, um, but it does go through like the chain of thought process and then like reflecting and giving you an output. And it's not when you do fine tune a model, it still doesn't give you like the crazy accuracy you would expect from doing something like this. But you guys can go through this data set and look through and see everything in here. Um, it's a mixture of all of these data sets, so the reflection data set, science QA that I created, Orca math, uh, COT, logic and reasoning, um, another chain of thought one, and then spelling puzzles. The spelling puzzle uses some of the hardest words in the English language, and it's just like a synthetic data set that goes through teaching you how to like spell them and count the letters and everything. All right, so we're gonna run this cell, get everything installed. Over here, you can see we're using the instruct model from InSloth. Okay, so we need to download the data set and then we need to format it over here. And then we can start running the training. But the train is going to map it, and then we can start it over here. So 
So I forgot we had to add these two cells in here um, so we can train it only on the responses. And then after this, it should be good to go. So it looks like it just started training. It's gonna take about seven to eight minutes or so. Um, so we'll see how it does. And the goal here is to have the loss decrease. While that's training, I wanted to show you guys the Llama 3.290 billion vision instruct model. We're gonna to use together.ai. If you guys wanna use this model, you guys can go over there and use it. So we're gonna add an image and we're just gonna ask it to describe it for us. Nice. So it runs at about 54 tokens per second. This output was about 70 tokens. Let's try another image. All right, now let's see if it has grounding capabilities because there's Momo, which is another multi-model that just came out that's open sourced and it has grounding capabilities. So it could point to things in the image. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't return any like bounding boxes or anything like that for grounding. All right, so just from the looks of it, it looks like we have a pretty good training session that went on all the way from 5.4 with a nice descent down to, it's like 1.28 was the lowest. See, so yeah, this looks good. All right, let's test it out now. All right, so we're gonna run this and stream the output so we can see it in real time. Okay, so it already messed up the word. Okay. Let's just try to generate that one more time and see what happens. Okay, yeah, so it gets it wrong. And it looks like it's Kind of just running yeah so it doesn't look like it's doing that well let's try to change the temperature a little bit okay yeah so that's wrong maybe it'll correct itself but we'll see the 8 billion parameter model does far better at this. Yeah, this is not this is not doing well now. It's just hallucinating. Yeah, nope. So it could have been just the training process that we did. Maybe need some training for more time. Could have been the data set. Um, it also could just be the model not wanting to fully learn everything that the 8 billion parameter model picks up a little bit better. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got the models up and running on your device and you're able to fine tune them now. If you guys want the notebooks, they'll be in my Patreon in the link below. And if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.